In today's video we're going to be replacing the brake flexes with braided hoses. Um, we're going to be doing both front ones and four rear ones. So obviously you can see there's damage to this front one so I just bought a set to do all the lot. Uh, so there's the front one and then I'll show you the rear ones. So if we go underneath there's the first rear one going from the chassis to the bottom arm. And then the second one goes from the bottom arm to the caliper. Uh, it might be slightly different if you've got drums, because I'm not 100% on what the setup is on those. I haven't done one yet. So if we go back to the front now, we're going to start with uh, cracking off these hard lines that go into the flexor. And I'm going to be replacing these hard lines later down the line, so I'll do a video on those as well. And these have actually rounded off, so I've had to use some parrot nose grips to be able to undo those. And then the same on the front here, you need to crack off this. Uh, I'll probably be replacing these little lines as well, just for peace of mind. And then also the bleed nipples, because you can see that's rounded off as well. I've had to use the parrot nose grips on that. So once these are off, you can pull the brake line out of the back there. Uh, and then when you put your new ones on, you'll have to make sure that you put this spring clip back in and it holds the brake line into the actual bracket on both ends. So I'm just going to time lapse this now that I've explained it and you'll see these horrible old brake lines getting replaced with the nice shiny new braided lines. Alright, so you've just seen me take the old brake line off. I put uh, an old latex glove around the end of the brake pipe and then cable tied it off just to stop it leaking all the fluid out. It's also worth mentioning that I took off, there's a, a plastic bracket that goes along here. The steel bracket goes into this and I took that off to pull this wire out of the way just to make things a bit easier. So that's job done for the front. I've already done the other side and I've also done the rear at the other side. So I'm going to put this trim back on here now and put the bracket back in, bolt it into that little lug there and then we'll be moving on to the back ones. I'll probably just time lapse those and then explain it after just in case nobody understands what's going on.
All right, so I'm just bleeding the brakes now, and all I've done is just slackened off the bleed nipple and I'm just waiting for it to gravity feed all the fluid through. You can see there's bubbles coming up. So I'll wait till I don't see any bubbles for a while, probably 30 seconds or so, and then shut the bleed nipple off. Work my way from rear left to rear right, then front left, then front right, working my way back towards the master cylinder. And because I clamped off the flex, it should have held quite a bit of fluid. So it shouldn't take too long to bleed the system up. Right, I've just finished bleeding all the brakes. So that will be the end of this video. If there's anything else you want to know how to do, drop it in the comments and I'll see what video I can come up with. Thanks for watching. <laughs>